everyone and welcome to my channel my name is Antoinette but call me bubs and in this video I'm going to be doing a lot of things okay we're going to be reviewing a couple of new products that I use today and this actually is part two to my review to the Audra Beauty blue tansy collection so I'm glad you're here and I'm hoping you're liking these results because fro fro looks amazing fro's Come on, this raw set came out immaculate. All right, so make sure you are subscribed to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and we're gonna hop right into it. So now it's time to use that blue tansy leave-in conditioning styler. So I will be blow drying my hair out. So going in with that leave-in conditioner. Oh, this thing is very thick, it's very thick. It's a thicker leave-in, and it's kind of hard to get it out the pump. But I'm just gonna apply this all over, maybe like three pumps. So for directions to say, apply the blue tansy leave-in conditioning styler on wet, damp, or dry hair after rinsing out one of our treatments or mask. Rake this product through with your fingers until it dissolves. Depending on your desired look, follow up with Ajawa Beauty Styler of choice. This product can also be used daily to help with curl definition, detangling, and an added protein boost. For wavy, or curly hair textures, this product may be used alone for your wash and go, may also be used prior to heat styling. And so far this feels very nice, it's very creamy. Like I said, it is a thicker leave-in conditioner. So over top of that, I'm just gonna use the treatment serum. You can apply this to wet, damp, or dry hair and proceed to thermal style or air dry. It says use just a squirt, so I'm gonna use about three pumps. Ooh, it's very smooth, it's very silky. It's not too thick and not too heavy. It feels really, really nice. So I'm just gradually smoothing, smoothing both of these products in. I'm gonna just quickly put my hair in some twists to make blow drying my hair a lot easier. Also, this is going to stretch my hair some. Um, so far, I am liking that I don't see any product on my hair at all. That leave-in conditioner has soaked right in. It says the Blue Tansy Leave-In Conditioning Styler repairs hair from damage due to color or daily stressors. With built-in silicone-free heat protectant, bamboo extract, hydrolyzed quinoa and sea kelp extract work in unison to build elasticity and strengthen hair it says it can help prevent breakage enhance hair shine and reduce frizz it can help with detangling and curl definition it can moisturize and condition hair for long lasting softness and it also can provide thermal styling protection for up to 375 degrees so as for the Blue Tansy Treatment Serum, it is silicone free and helps to smooth and promote shine without leaving hair feeling greasy or weighed down. The serum will help to reduce breakage and it can protect the hair from heat damage during thermal styling. It is also frizz and humidity resistant. This product can help protect hair from heat damage up to 375 degrees. It can enhance hair shine, reduce frizz and protect hair from humidity, locks in moisture and helps reduce breakage. Okay, so I wanna do a rod set today and I have two mousses that I have not tried. And it's been in my stash for a while. I have Camille Rose Spiked Procuri Styling Foam and I also have the sign Essentials Almond and Avocado Curl Enhancing Mousse. Let me know down below if you know the difference between a foam and a mousse because I I don't know. I'm just gonna battle them on each side. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be a battle, okay? We're gonna see which one I like more. So I have my four sections, but I'm probably going to have like front bangs. So um, these parts are really not gonna matter, um, but I'm going to do the foam on this side and then the mousse on this side. So I'm gonna start with the foam first by Camille Rose. My hair feels very soft right now. It feels moisturized. I'm glad that the Tansy collection has like prepped my hair so well. I'm pretty excited about that. This is not gonna be a raw tutorial. I have a dedicated video showing you guys three different ways I like to do my rod sets. I'm gonna make sure to leave it in the cards above. So definitely check that out and down below because I'll show you step by step how I apply my rods. I will be using an array of sizes when it comes to my flexi rods just because 
the back is a lot shorter than the front so i am going to start with the green and yellow ones first in the back so per section for the camille rose spiked Mercury styling foam i used about three pumps per section i may use four pumps depending on how many strands is in the section as i am applying it the product is a tad bit tacky which lets me know that this is going to give me some hold it says that it's a three-in-one hair styler blended to create hydrating hold a luminous shine and a volume boost achieve sculpted natural curls with spike Bercuri styling cold foam a sweet and refreshingly light mixture of exotic Bercuri and aroba oils exquisitely stirred to moisturize define and strengthen damaged tresses directions it says on freshly cleansed and detangled hair pump a liberal amount on two hands and mold into hair let foam marinate for three to five minutes and style as desired can be used for roller sets wash and goes blow dried hair and braid or twist outs for all hair types The Design Essentials Natural Hair Almond and Avocado Curl Enhancer Mousse is perfect for all hair types. It's formulated with sweet almond oil and vitamin B to provide curl quenching moisture, curl definition, and the ultimate frizz control. While wheat protein penetrates the hair cuticle for stronger, healthier looking hair and leaves a gorgeous natural sheen. This formula is essential for waves, curls, and coily textures seeking a soft, pliable hold with crunch and flake free styling for a more firm hold try the honey curl foaming custard directions apply to wet hair and comb or finger it through into desired style allow hair to air dry naturally or use a diffuser to set curls mousse will disappear as it dries this mousse has a very fruity but fresh scent and the mousse is thicker i think it is a tad bit thicker than the styling foam from camille rose but overall they both felt very similar i used about two to three pumps per section this does have some tackiness when you are applying it that ensures that i'm going to get some hold with the styler i'm all finished adding the products and the foams and the mousses and i'm going to let this set probably get under the hooded dryer for about an hour and maybe let this set overnight and i'll be back to you guys in the morning so far i do have high hopes for both sides i think it's going to look really good i like that the camille rose is drying down and i don't see any residue as of right now because when i was cleaning my hands so i can start using the design essential mousse i did notice in between my fingers some flakiness so i hope I hope I don't get flakiness, but we will definitely see. So I'll be back to show you guys the takedown, the separation, and my finished results. Hey everyone, so I'm back and it um, has been about two days. The first day I applied the rollers, I did take them out. My hair was dry by the end of the night and I did take them out because I was not trying to sleep in rollers. There's no way. And so I slept and that was yesterday and then I was like, oh, I don't feel like doing my hair yesterday, so today's the next day. So, um, as you can see, the curls have been moved and I don't know, they look all flat, but once I separate and fluff everything, everything's going to look good. So first I'm going to add a little oil sheen and this is Afro Sheen's Glow Up Shine Spray. And this thing is like not filled to the top. I'm like, is that normal? Like the bottle, I guess this is an eight ounce bottle, but you only get six ounces. I don't really like that. Anyways. Ooh, I probably should have not put on this sh shirt. So let me cover up so I don't get oil on my clothes. Oh my goodness. I thought it was gonna like come out more like a um like an aerosol can and it I don't know it just like kind of shot out I don't I don't know I don't like that but it is definitely adding some shine
So this is the finished fro. Yes, yes, volume. I love the results. I really am. Let's compare the mousse and the foam. So uh, remember, Camille Rose is on this side, and then I had the Design Essentials on this side. Which side do you guys like better? I must say, both of these are amazing. I think I am very impressed. If I used one on my forehead, one or the other, I still would have loved my results because I personally like a fluffier roller set, and I got that. I got that. Um, so soft. It feels so moisturized and plush and just, if it's just amazing. But I will say the Camille Rose Spikes Bercuri, um styling foam did give me a little more frizz. My hair is a little less defined in my opinion. I have a lot more frizzier ends. So I did notice that. With the Design Essentials, my hair is laying flat. Um, the curls are definitely more precise. You can see how well this laid on the flexi rod with this mousse. So um, definitely the Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Mousse 1. I know this side is going to last a lot longer than this side. Um, I try to let my flexi rod stretch at least three to four days. Um, th that's the max I do without having to like reapply rollers or anything like that. I think I am going to show you guys how I preserve my flexi rods in another video, but so far so good. These are good. I highly recommend. I think if you're looking for a good mousse or foam for your roller sets, um, the foam is definitely going to give you a fluffier result and the mousse is going to give you a lot more definition and you're probably going to get a longer hairstyle. As for the this glow up shine spray um I really did like how much shine it gave my hair but it kind of I don't like how it applies I really don't I thought it was more like an aerosol can it's not it's just like you're spraying oil all over which is fine it's just don't wear clothes first okay don't wear your clothes that you're gonna wear out first definitely put on a shirt you don't care about and do it in your bathroom i also want to mention from the blue tansy collection the leave-in conditioner and the treatment serum really worked good with my blowouts and my hair was very fluffy my ends look a little rough okay <laughs> i do need a small like a dust thing but this really kept my hair moisturized and soft and i'm pretty sure my curls is going to bounce back when i do wash it because i didn't apply that much heat on my hair let me know what you thought of these results guys what do you think of this rod set i wanted to stretch it out even more but i just love the shape of my haircut I love, I love the shape. I really do. I really do love the shape. Even though I want to grow my hair out, <laughs> I really do love the shape. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it or found it a little bit entertaining. Let me know if you have any questions down below and any requests you want to see from me. Please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.